So why don't we start off by you guys telling me your names and uh, the show that you're playing in. I'm Kendra Connor. And I'm Jenny McKillop. And we are in Maggie Now. Perfect. So tell me, tell me a bit about uh, what Maggie Now is about. Well, Maggie Now is part of a four-part uh, series of plays that we've been doing over the past few fringes. We started two fringes ago with part one, and last year we did part one and part two, and this year we're finishing it off with parts three and four, so it's actually two individual shows. And they are, the, the, the book that our show is based on is, is, uh, was, was written by a woman whose name is Betty Smith, and she uh, wrote A Tree Goes in Brooklyn. You might have heard of that. Um, and it's a lovely story about a family of, uh, of Irish um, immigrants who moved to New York, or who, but who are in New York at the turn of the century, and sort of their trials and tribulations in in, uh, in working class Brooklyn, yeah. And were you guys in both both the other ones too, and then this one? I was. Okay. The Chinese uh, brand, brand new for us this year, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then, for you, Kendra, uh, have you found that that people have come back? Like, have you have you been able to keep people interested in the saga? Absolutely. Today was hilarious. We had I had. There was one woman in the front row who, who was there and she was like, she, I could see her nodding at the things that we were mentioning from last year and remembering them as I was, you know, uh, talking about them on stage. It was really awesome. It's, it's cool to be a part of that. Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah. Uh, but, but if you haven't seen them, you can still come see them. Absolutely. They stand alone. Yeah. yeah. And so, so tell, me, tell me a bit more about, about the story itself. I mean, so she's, she has an Irish family and... Well, where we left off last year with Maggie now was uh, uh, Maggie uh, herself. Maggie is her nickname, by the way. Uh, she, uh, she had grown up and she had just gotten married to uh, the, the love of her life, who's Claude Bassett. And then at the end of part two, um, he, he left and we don't know where he went. And uh, so part three kind of picks up the story and carries it along and it answers all the questions of where did Claude go, what happened, did he leave her, is he gone for good, and stuff like that, so yeah. Right on. Is there anything else you guys can... Uh I just find this story so engaging. I got I got the script and I, I was on a bus back from Calgary and I was just reading it like Harry Potter. I don't know why and I couldn't put it down. So it's just, it's, I don't know, I just find the, the stories story is something to get into. We were talking today about uh, backstage about how it doing these shows every year kind of feels like being a part of the Lord of the Rings trilogy in a really <laughs> funny sort of weird way because I mean it's like every year there's another installment so we get another script and we get to read that and perform that and, and whatnot. It's really fun to do. Uh, the the style of the piece is really interesting and it's okay. not something you always see it's narrative storytelling yeah. so. How does that work? Uh, an example of a line like well, you. Well we would yeah. we turn to the audience and talk directly to them a lot so we break the fourth wall right down and, and it's, mm. that's super fun to be able to you know watch someone who's like oh it's kind of hot in here and, and getting a little and then to turn to them and say a line to them and watch them kind of get attentive yeah. and keep them engaged in the story so there's lots of that is that something that comes from the story itself or is that something was that a choice that you got that your company made it comes almost uh, directly from the story okay. so yeah. it's, it's some of them like uh, you'd say uh, Annie said and then you'd say a line to someone or Annie was thinking blah 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 yeah it's, uh, it's weird, but it's fun at the same time. Yes. Yeah. For sure. uh, it's super important for everyone to, to know that, that they don't have to have come to see parts mm -hmm. one and two last year. Okay. You um, really don't. The stories yeah. are, are completely individual, and they're really great plays. And um, if, you, if you haven't seen part one and two, we keep you updated. We've got uh, lots of stuff in the program that sort of says, this is where we are you know, at this point in time. So we'll keep everyone updated. And it should be, should be totally easy to follow along.